I'm not saying that is a lot, but I am saying it's something that the customer doesn't have to do. What is up you guys, it's Toya. And I am back with just one more and welcome back to my comment corner. Um, where I'm just going to read some comments and respond to them um, because some of these comments lately have been really sticking out and they're really either really funny to me or they provide um, really good information or they're asking a really good question and I just want to respond to it. So this comment simply says, um, I've been using Instacart for almost a year and just now uninstalled the app. They're, they're complete ripoffs. The prices on Instacart are not the same as store prices. They get, okay. I've been using Instacart for almost a year now and just now uninstalled the app. They're complete ripoffs. The prices on Instacart are not the same as the store prices they get the items from. One Instacart shopper made the mistake of leaving the receipt in the bag. The actual prices for the items, according to the receipt, was only $36.38. However, Instacart charged me $45.54. And this is the reason as shoppers, we're not supposed to, it's against the policy. Um, it's against Instacart's policy to, to give the, client or the customer the receipt because essentially um, shoppers are buying the items from Instacart and Instacart modifies the prices for I say for convenience um, if you if Instacart is op offering a service so that you don't have to go to the grocery store and fight traffic and have to wait in the cashier's line and have to maneuver around other people shopping. We do all that for you. Um, and essentially you're paying for convenience. Um, and I'm not saying that she's wrong or right or that this person is wrong or right or um, either way, I'm not saying she's wrong or right. I'm saying that this is why as shoppers, we, it's against the policy to put the receipt in the bag because the, because the prices in store prices and what the customer sees is complete and what the cost what the customer is charged i'm sorry is completely different um and like i said i think the price difference is for the convenience of having someone of you being able to sit at home and pick out items on an app and have them delivered in a specific window of time to me that's very convenient it it leaves you time to be with your family you don't have to be in traffic you don't have to fight in the aisles of the grocery store and you don't have to stand in a checkout line you don't have to uh, pack your groceries in a car um you don't have to fight traffic again going home taking your groceries home i'm not saying that is a lot but i am saying it's something that the customer doesn't have to do so you know, you're paying, the customer is paying for the convenience of having someone shop for them. Um, yeah. And that's why we, that's why we're employed. That's why we have a job because people like, people like convenience, people like convenience. And I think when you shop through apps like this, shipped in any other on-demand service, you're paying for convenience. Um, and that's the reason why you don't <laughs> you don't want people to see the price of convenience so don't put the receipt in the bag anyway that's all i have for this comment um i think i'm gonna do a couple more of these and if you want to see them hit that subscribe button if you like this video Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.